This video will cover questions regarding the topic of optimization problems. Open top box. This is question 1. There is a 15 cm by 6 cm rectangular cardboard. Let x be the side length of the congruent squares. Fold this part up to make an open top box. This length is the same as this one, which is 15 minus 2x. This one is the same as this one, which is 6 minus 2x. The height of the box is the same as the length of the smaller squares. The volume is length times width times height. That means x times 15 minus 2x times 6 minus 2x. When you expand this factorized form, it is much more convenient to expand the last two terms first than to expand the first two terms first. So x times 15 times 6 is 90, then minus 30x, minus 12x, plus 4x squared, equals x times, we can simplify, 4x squared minus 42x, plus 90. Then finally, 4x cubed, minus 42x squared, plus 90x. We wish to maximize the volume. V of x equals 4x cubed minus 42x squared plus 90x. Then V prime of x equals 12x squared minus 84x plus 90. To find the critical numbers, we equate the derivative to 0. Then divide by 6 on each side, 2x squared minus 14x plus 15 equals 0. The two solutions of the quadratic equations of v prime of x equals 0 are, using the quadratic formula, x equals minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In here, a equals 2, b equals minus 14, c equals 15. Then x equals minus minus 14 plus minus square root of minus 14 squared minus 4 times 2 times 15 over 2 times 2 equals 14 plus minus square root of minus 14 square equals 196 minus 8 times 15, which is 120, over 4 equals 14 plus minus square root of 76 over 4. Then we can rewrite as 14 plus minus. This one is 2 square root of 19 over 4. Is 7 plus minus the square root of 19 over 2. Now x is 7 plus minus the square root of 19 over 2. 7 plus the square root of 19 over 2 is 5.679. And 7 minus square root of 19 over 2 is 1.321. Now we have to check about the domain. Every length is greater than 0. The first one, 15 minus 2x is greater than 0. That means minus 2x is greater than minus 15. x is less than 7.5. Second one, 6 minus 2x is greater than 0. Then minus 2x is greater than minus 6. That means x is less than 3. 
The last one, x is greater than 0. All together, x is less than 7.5, x is less than 3, x is greater than 0. So this is more powerful option. So finally, the domain is between 0 and 3. Then this one is rejected because x is between 0 and 3. The number line is between 0 and 3. This is pre prime of x. The number is 1.321. The testing number is 1. Pre prime 1 equals 12 minus 84 plus 90 equals 18, which is greater than 0. And the testing number is 2. We prime 2 equals 12 times 4 minus 84 times 2 plus 90, which is minus 30, less than 0. We prime changes from increasing to decreasing at x equals 1.321. Now we verify that x equals 7 minus the square root of 19 over 2 gives a maximum value for v. v of x equals 4x cubed minus 42x squared plus 90x. Then v of 7 minus the square root of 19 over 2 equals 54.819 cm cubed. That means the maximum volume is about 54.819 cm cubed. When the cutout squares have a side length of 1.321 cm. Question 2. Let B be the length of the base of the box and H be the height of the box. The volume is 4,000 cm squared. That means B squared H equals 4,000. We can rewrite as H equals 4,000 over B squared. The surface area of the open top box is B squared plus 4BH equals B squared plus 4B times H is 4,000 over B squared. Then B squared plus B is cancelled. 16,000 over B. We wish to find the maximum surface area S of the box. SB equals B squared plus 16,000 times b to the power of minus 1, then s prime b equals 2b minus 16,000 b to the power of minus 2. Then we can rewrite as 2b minus 16,000 over b squared, then make a finger fraction, 2b cubed minus 16,000 over b squared. Now b is positive. B is the length of the base, which is greater than 0. To find the critical numbers, we equate the derivative to 0. That means the numerator is 0. To be cubed minus 16,000 equals 0. Then we can factor 2 times b cubed minus 8,000 equals 0. That means b cubed equals 8,000, which is 20 cubed, then b equals 20. The number line, s prime of b is greater than 0. The point is 20. When the testing number is 1, s prime 1 equals 2 times 1 cubed, minus 16,000 over 1 squared, which is less than 0. 
when testing number B is 21, s prime 21 equals 2 times 21 cubed minus 16,000 over 21 squared, which is positive. S prime changes from decreasing to increasing at B equals 20. Now we verify that B equals 20 gives an absolute minimum value for S. Then minimum surface area, SB is this one. Then S20 equals 20 squared plus 16,000 over 20 equals 400 plus 800, which is 1200 centimeters squared. The minimum surface area of the box is 1200 centimeters squared. This is the third and last question. Let W be the width of the base of the rectangular container. The length of the base is twice the width. That means 2W and H is the height. Then volume is L times W times H. Volume is 16 equals length is 2W times W times H. And 16 equals 2w squared h. The cost c is base times 12 plus size times 8. The base is 2w squared times 12 plus front and back is 2 times 2wh plus Left and right side is 2 times WH times 8 equals 24W squared plus this one is 6WH times 8. Then final answer is 24W squared plus 48WH. We want to express C as a function of just one variable. So we eliminate h in terms of w. So h equals 16 over 2w squared, which is 8 over w squared. Then 24w squared plus 48w times h equals 8 over w squared. Then 24w squared plus W is cancelled and 384 over W. We wish to minimize the cost. CW equals 24W squared plus 384 times W to the power of minus 1. Then C prime of W equals 48W minus 384W to the power of minus 2. Then C prime of W equals 48W minus 384 over W squared. Then make a single fraction. 48W cubed minus 384 over W squared. Then W is greater than 0. The width of the base is greater than 0. To find the critical numbers, we equate the derivative to 0. That means 48w cubed minus 384 over w squared equals 0. That means the numerator is 0. So 48w cubed minus 384 equals 0. Then we can factor 48 times w cubed minus 8 equals 0. That means w cubed minus 8 equals 0. Then w cubed equals 8, that means w equals 2. The number line is greater than 0. C prime of w, the number is 2. When the testing number w equals 1, 
Then C prime of 1 equals 48 times 1 cubed minus 384 over 1 squared is less than 0. When the testing number is 3, C prime of 3 equals 48 times 3 cubed minus 384 over 3 squared is greater than 0. C prime changes from decreasing to increasing at W equals 2. Now we verify that W equals 2 gives an absolute minimum. Then value for C, use this. C of 2 equals 24 times 2 squared plus 384 over 2 is 96 plus 192, which is 288. The total minimum cost is $288. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.